Hello there and welcome to Evening Prayer for Friday. Tonight we're remembering Catherine of Siena, who was a teacher of faith and who died in 1380. She will also be mentioned in our prayers this evening. Let's just pause for a moment as we come into God's presence to share in our evening prayer worship. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed, and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory, and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 118. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endures for ever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. In my constraint I called to the Lord, the Lord answered and set me free. The Lord is at my side, I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? With the Lord at my side as my saviour, I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in flesh. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in princes. All the nations encompass me, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They hem me in, they hem me in on every side, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarmed about me like bees, they blazed like fire among thorns, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. Surely I was thrust to the brink, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Joyful shouts of salvation sound from the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. The right hand of the Lord raises up. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Will we rejoice and be glad in it? Come, O Lord, and save us, we pray. Come, Lord, send us now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Link the pilgrims with cords. Write to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from John's Gospel, chapter 21, beginning at verse 15. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, 
Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, Follow me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Alleluia. And so we come to our time of prayer. Let us pray. We thank you, O Lord, for loving and caring for us all. We ask you to bless our Queen as Governor of the Church and Head of the Government, through the Holy Spirit and for the Church to rediscover the foundations of the Gospel. We ask that the leaders of all the churches and the government cooperate to promote the well-being and stability of our country and all who live in it. Worldwide, dear Lord, we ask you to help our leaders understand and act on the need to ensure the common good of all people, whoever they are. By honouring your presence, guide our leaders to make the right decisions, morally and ethically, and thereby to make the world a safe, peaceful and more equitable place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, open our hearts to all those in our parish and elsewhere who need help and friendship. We thank you for the goodness and giving of so many in our communities who reflect your teachings in the love and care they, they show daily in their words and deeds to others. They don't want or look for any thanks except the knowledge that they do your will. Help us to mirror their Christian love and bless them, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Merciful God, we give you thanks for our families and friends, and we ask you to bless those whom we love and hold dear. We bring before you now those known to us who are ill or in need of your healing and peace, and ask you to bless those who care for them. We especially pray for Harold and Dudley. And gracious God, we pray for those who have died and for those who mourn their passing. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of compassion, who gave your servant Catherine of Siena a wondrous love of the passion of Christ, Grant that your people may be united to him in his majesty and rejoice forever in the revelation of his glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me today. Richard will be with you tomorrow and on Monday. I'll be back with Richard on Wednesday. And if you're wondering about Alpha, then there's still time to sign up and join in. Go to holytrinityredditch.org.uk forward slash courses and follow the links. We'd love to have you with us. As usual, there are services in person at all of our churches on Sunday and we'll be live streaming the service from St Stephen's Church at 9.30 on Holy on the Holy Trinity Reddit YouTube channel. Have a lovely weekend. Be blessed and be a blessing. Good night. God bless.